Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these Hello Berry inspired bracelets. I actually got this idea from the website Etsy.com. I've actually been seeing a lot of these bracelets and I decided not to buy them and instead make them and they're pretty easy to make so if you guys are interested then please keep watching. So first off you're going to need some jewelry chain to make half of your bracelet. Um, you can get it at Michael's or any local craft store. I'm sure any craft store would have that. Or you can use an old bracelet and then cut it in um, different parts so that you could use that for your bracelet. Then you're going to need some scissors. As you can see here, I'm very protective of my scissors. <laughs> The next you need some plastic craft lace and again you can get this at Michael's or any of your local craft store. Then you're going to need some pliers. And then the last thing you need is any type of tape, it could be scotch tape, duct tape, whatever, just as long as it's tape. So we're going to take the gold chain and you want to measure it so that it is half the length of your wrist. And then once you measure that, you'll just want to cut it up. So I'm just spreading this link here, the disconnecting it, and then you want to close the gap with some pliers. And after that you want to take some craft lace and first you want to make sure that this craft lace is four times the length of the chain and then you want to cut that and then fold it in half and this is going to act as your base string. Then you want to take another piece of really really long craft lace and this is going to be about 11 times the length of your gold chain and even a little bit more just to be safe because this is the string that's going to be used to weave around your base string. And then you also want to just fold that in half as well. So you want to put your base string through the loop like so and then you want to just get some tape and then secure that so that's easier for you to weave then you're gonna go ahead and take your really long craft lace and then you want to fold that in half and then you want to make sure that that crease that you folded goes right underneath the base string. And if you want, you can also just secure the bottom of your base string with some tape so that it's a lot easier for you to weave. So then you want to put that crease that you folded with your really long craft lace right underneath the base string. And now we're going to begin our weave. So I'm going to start with the left side. And then I'm going to make a loop. So this is going to be a four or a backwards P. I'm going to bring that over top of the base string. Bring the right side string over top of that. And then you want to bring that string from the right side underneath the base string. And then underneath the loop. And then pull. And then you want to make sure you tighten up that knot. And so we're going to alternate. So after the left side, I'm going to move on to the right side. So here I'm going to do a P loop. Put that over top of the base string. Bring the left string over top. And then underneath the base string. And then underneath the right loop. And as you can see, I did not secure the knot. So you really want to make sure you pull on it hard. And then I'm just going to continue on alternating from left to right until you are about more than halfway 
to down your bracelet. So after you've reached a little bit more than halfway down your bracelet, you just want to double check to make sure how far you've gone. And once you've done that, you want to put the end of your um, base string through the loop from outside of the bracelet to in and then fold it. And you want to just double check to see if it would fit through your hand, like so. And then once you've got that, you want to make sure you put a crease into the plastic lace. And then after that, you want to cut up a piece of tape and then just secure it. So here comes the tough part. You want to take the ends of the base string and then you want to put it up against the rest of the string like so. And then from there you want to tie the knot around the ends of the string so that way it secures it and finishes off the bracelet. And again, if you need that extra support, you can put some tape at the ends of the bracelet and then you can finish off knotting away. So once you've noticed that it is tightly secured, you can go ahead and take off the tape and cut off the excess string. And then you can begin knotting till the end of the bracelet. So once you've reached the end of your bracelet, you want to turn it around to the inside and tie a knot. And you want to make sure the knot is very tight. And then after that, you want to grab your scissors and then cut off the extra string. And you want to put some glue there just to secure it even more. I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to skip out on that. But make sure you put some on just so your bracelet just stays intact, because I highly recommend that. And if some, for some reason your bracelet tends to be a little bit on the big side, you can actually just adjust it by grabbing some scissors and your pliers and just disconnecting the links of your chain like we did before and then we're just going to reconnect it with some pliers. And there you have it, your very own Hello Berry inspired bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in a later video. Bye guys!